Problem 725 asks two major things. To compute the flexural strength of a ceramic uh, spinal specimen, the rectangular cross section, and also its point of maximum deflection, or the, the maximum deflection at its center. Given are that it is a spinal specimen which is MGAL2 O4 and it has a rectangular cross section. So we'll give it a base and uh, 9 millimeters and a height and the problem it says D uh, for B H of 3.8 millimeters and so it the cross section looks like this With these dimensions, and it is important that it is lying flat like this, as it will affect the calculation of the moment of inertia. It says the distance between supports is. 25 millimeters so give that length L 25 millimeters and that the load at fracture P is 350 newtons For part B, the load P is 310 newtons, so that we can calculate the deflection before it fractures. So let's work on part A. Now, in strength of materials, we learned that that stress is equal to the moment times C, which is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. In this case, C will be from the centroid here in the direction of loading to the outermost fiber. So it's half of this 3.8 millimeters, so it's 1.9 millimeters equals C. and all of that divided by the moment of inertia. So we can calculate each of these individually. The moment is calculated using the analysis of the force top and that force was 350 newtons and also our distance here of 25 millimeters between the supports and we realize that these supports each take half the load, assuming the 350 newtons is centrally loaded. So this is 175 newtons. If we look at the maximum bending moment occurs right in the middle And 
So we have a maximum bending moment of 175 newtons times 12.5 millimeters. And that comes out to 2188 Newton millimeters. We already calculated C. That is 1.9 millimeters. And I the area moment of inertia of a rectangle about its horizontal centroidal axis is its base times the cube of its height all divided by 12. Base is 9 millimeters. The height is 3.8 millimeters. That gets cubed. All of that over 12. We end up with 41.15 millimeters to the fourth. Right. Once all these are calculated, our stress equals 21.88 Newton millimeters times 1.9 millimeters all over 41.15 millimeters to the fourth cancel out we have millimeters times millimeters on top, millimeters to the fourth on the bottom, so it becomes millimeters squared. So our stress uh, at fracture will be 101 newtons per square millimeter, which is 101 megapascals. That's part A. Now on to part B. Part B states that the maximum deflection occurs at the center. That's delta y's maximum deflection. And it's equal to the force times the cube of the length all over 48 times the elastic modulus times the area moment of inertia. Well, we have all of these items, so we'll just put them in. And remember the uh, P is 310 newtons. So we have 310 newtons times 25 millimeters cubed all over 48 times the elastic modulus and that was not given so we need to look at that up in table 7 1 of the text E of spinal is 260 gigapascals. 
So we have 48 times 260 gigapascals times the area moment of inertia, 41.15 millimeters to the fourth. So for our units, we got millimeters cubed over millimeters to the fourth, so I can get rid of those millimeters completely. And got um, get rid of the millimeters to the fourth. But then we have gigapascals times millimeters, and that gigapascal is a thousand newtons per square millimeter. So I'm going to cancel out this millimeter with the square of that millimeter and that Newton with that Newton and all I have left up on top are millimeters and calculating out the numbers gives us 0 0.000 four millimeters. This is the answer to part B. This is a very small deflection which would be consistent with the very high elastic modulus and uh, brittleness of a ceramic.